Welcome back to our Digimon Survival playthrough. Last time we uh, beat up Miyuki for like the tenth time. <laughs> this time we're finally in chapter eleven. There's chapter eleven and then twelve, and we should be done. Emphasis on the word should. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Live on video. But anyways, while I'm doing this, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, follow, rumble, do all the have fun stuff on all our social media platforms listed down below. I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to check out our other social media platforms in the description and all that. I probably repeated myself. Oh well, because this is totally a professional stream. <laughs> professional video. We'll get there eventually. All right, with that being said, we're back in our schoolhouse. After that sudden battle with the master at the library, we made up with Harrenamon since we all want to save Miyuki, and then made it safely back to school. After that, everyone passed out log logs, including Rinamon, who was injured. The next morning, Rinamon gathered everyone in the cafeteria when we woke up. Rinamon, what's going on? Why'd you check on Harish form again? We know who you really are now, so why are you pretending? I've looked this way for so long that my body naturally takes on his appearance. Well, yesterday you looked like Rinamon. Well, I can't fight in this form, obviously. So, basically, are your form is more natural for you at this point? Like you feel more relaxed in his body? Hey, don't ignore me! Oh, shut up! After all that time at Miyuki's side as Haru, I just started to feel right. But isn't it painful to stay in that form? Now that I think about it, I should have started giving uh, Rinamon Haru's voice the moment we realized it was actually Haru. Oh well. At first it was, but the strangeness of it has worn off over time. And I like the look on Miyuki's face when she sees me. So you can forget what I said yesterday. Intriguing. So why'd you call us here? You got something important to announce? Right. I thought we should talk about where Miyuki is. You mean you know? Miyuki is... in the shrine. The shrine? You mean our inner shrine from before? That's the one. Are you certain? You think I lied to you at this point? The master's true body is in the inner shrine. So Miyuki is there too, she must be. I don't think he's lying, Takuma. But if that's true, I can't believe it. The Master and Miyuki have been right under our noses. Looks like everyone else is just as surprised as I am. Oh, I'm shocked. I never thought the enemy could be so close. Don't be doing this to me, boys. We still got uh, one more episode to record. Or at least the rest of this one. <laughs> We've walked around there so many times. I know, it never crossed my mind. Like I say, it's easier, easiest to miss what's right in front of you. The shrine didn't seem large enough to hide multiple people, though. Maybe the inner area goes further than I thought. But I searched the shrine so many times. I can't believe it. We are working together on this, right? Or do you doubt me? Yuki used to say Haru was really stubborn and never changed his mind. So I guess I'm just being the same old Haru. That's an interesting way to put it. But it's easy to see where the professor is coming from, right? In other words, you don't trust me. That's not what I mean. I just like want some proof. It will make sense if you get to the shrine. Will it? Rinamon isn't offering much in the way of details. But like Agumon said, he doesn't seem to be lying. I trust Rinamon. Rinamon wants to help Miyuki and wouldn't lie about her. I can't just agree with you, dear. Just look at those eyes. They look like Shakumon did when he protected me all the intense. I guess it's a look of wanting to protect someone you care about. 
true, plus we all know how bad anyone wants to take Mickey. We can trust him on this, right, Professor? I guess I'm a stubborn one, but yeah. I'm sorry, Ranama. As long as Miyuki is saved, that's all I care about. Okay, so now we know where the bad guy is. But how do we beat him? He's the ruler of this world. We've got to have a plan. Ken, let me make a suggestion. Let's focus on rescuing Miyuki before we try to beat anyone. Once we've got our back. Yeah, I think I want. We run like hell! Then we go somewhere safe and use your power to get home. Good plan, Minoru. Sounds perfect. I know, right? <laughs> That's amazing. For you, better than I would have expected. Come on, can't you just be nice for once? What do you think, Takuma? Personally, it seems pretty realistic to me. It's not bad, but I don't think it'll be that easy. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, Takuma, what do you mean, not that easy? I can't really explain it, but this world and ours seem to affect each other. As long as something's wrong in this world, our world will be off too. Right, so just running away won't solve the problem. My mustache is tickling my nose. I guess we gotta fight this master after all. Even though it might be impossible to win. Now hold on, it may not necessary, be necessary to defeat him. Huh? Perhaps restoring the world and defeating the master should be viewed as separately. What's that mean? But we can't save the world without defeating the master, right? Not necessarily. You mean we don't have to be the master to save the world? Do you have some special insight about how to save the world, Jin? I'm not exactly sure how, but I think we should explore other solutions as well. But if we don't know how, then all we can do is fight, right? Yeah, well now that's the only choice we have. So there really... is there really another way without fighting? Since our worlds are connected, it seems like we have to beat the master. Maybe we should focus on saving Miyuki and getting home like Minoru said. Once we're back in our world, we can rethink how to defeat the master. But there's really another way, like the professor says, we should look into it. Winter Play! Garlic Grove! In the land of the free. How you two doing? Thank you for stopping by. I had to take a double ticket, make sure I didn't get rated or anything. Because you two came in at the exact same time. S.O. Garlic Grove. S.O. Winter Blaze. How are you two doing today? Are you having a fantastic day? Alright. In the end, I think we should prioritize. What do we want to prioritize, guys? Beating the master is left. Rescuing Muki is up. We're right is finding another way. While I wait for everybody's responses, uh, be sure to check out Garlic Grove. Their last stream was of the Blue Fire. I don't think I've heard that game before. Be sure to check out Winter Blaze. Their last stream of Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Ah, I lurked in that one. I am, yeah, I never knew a game could make me stress sweat. <laughs> was it that bad? I don't think I've heard of uh, Amnesia Dark Descent until you started playing it. It sounds like a horror game. But yeah, do we all want to go left, up, or right? Beating the mass or rescue Miyuki or finding another way. Constant sounds. Ooh, those can be pretty fun. Winter Blaze is up. I don't give anybody else in chat that wants to vote. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Negative 1. I'm joking. <laughs> We're rescuing Miyuki. Like Minoru said, rescuing Miyuki comes first. But just rescuing her won't save the world. Yeah, just like you should, Chokuma. I know, but I just think we should focus on saving her before we make a move. 
What is amnesia about? But what about the master? Isn't the master's goal to get revenge on your world? Sure, he just seemed to end in what sounds bad to me. I know, I agree, we have to beat the master. And I want to figure out how, just after we get back to our world. We don't have the luxury of time here, if we take too long. You lost your memories and you need to figure out what's going on. Neat. And naked monsters hate you. <laughs> oh, that sounds interesting. Wait, there might be some sense to what Takuma's saying. All we've been doing is fending off the master's attacks. If we could go back and prepare for the fight first, then maybe we could actually win. And what happens to us? Do we go to the other world with you? Or will we? Don't say it! Howie doesn't want to think about it. And neither do I. No one knows what'll happen. Hagumon and Paimon were there when we went back before, though. But that doesn't mean they always will be. And even if they come with us, then what? But we can't do nothing, that's for sure. Anyway, let's head to the shrine. That's the only choice we've really got, in my opinion. Were you able to beat uh, Amnesia Winter? Or is that going to be like a multi-stream game? Yeah, whatever. Whether we beat the master or not, either way we'll need her power. In other words, we get to rescue her and we want to get home. Yes, but that's not why we're rescuing her. We want to rescue her regardless of her power. But if we go to the shrine, we might end up fighting the master, right? Nope, not yet. I think it might just be one more stream, though. Okay, so it's not a very long game. Everyone's faces just got really intense. I know my usual go-to horror game, Layers of Fear, I can usually get done in two streams. I really like Layers of Fear. No matter how prepared we are, the idea of facing the master is still scary. I'd be lying to say I'm not scared too. Let's get the ed points all. I am annoyed that I couldn't get that to work and I have to still do it. Hey Takuma, everyone seems kinda on edge. Yeah, they do. Perhaps before heading to the shop, we should check in with everyone. Check in with everyone, huh? Yeah, maybe so. It would be dangerous to go near the master if we were uneasy or anxious. And that's putting it lightly. We probably could use a moment to get our emotions under control. We can't just rush forward. Immediately, because that's what we decided. Each person needs to really be on board with this or we'll never win. I think it's like the professor in Renamon said. We should deal with our emotions before heading to the shrine. We can gather back here afterwards. Free action. Now, before we do this, I want to see how we get Digimon Survive Megas. And yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. I don't want that. Bummer, I don't think it's, I'm gonna find a site that'll just say it. So we'll just have to explore. But I am gonna cheat, because I do think it has something to do with affinity levels. And I want everybody's affinity level as high as possible here. Harmony. Here we go. We only have four moves, Jesus. I 
I want to get everybody above uh, 40 affinity first, so we're going to start with Aoi. Going to talk with Aoi. Prepare ourselves. To check to make sure there's no items because we really, really need uh, things. Owie, Labramon, what are you doing here? Takuma. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking back over everything that happened. You always prepare the meals for us. It's no surprise you're comfortable in the cafeteria. Yes, you're probably right. Still, that's not all I was thinking of. How so? What really stuck with me was the time I was captured by Doku Guman. Wait, really? That's not exactly something I'd want to remember. Yeah. That ah, feels like it's been so long ago. <laughs> Even so, it's linked to an important memory of mine. The time that Labramon fought so desperately to protect me. Of course, you were already super important to me back then. Thanks, Labramon. I was so happy when you did that. When I saw you coming to rescue me, I felt this warmth I've never known before. It felt so strange, like a gentle feeling spreading through my chest. I felt the same way, Owie. I could already tell how special you were. Yeah, that was the moment I felt our bond. You know what I mean, don't you, Takuma? Yeah, more than you realize. I'm sure everyone here knows exactly what you mean. Of course, I get it too. Me and Takuma have that kind of bond. <laughs> yes, I think you're right. Labramon and me, Takuma and Otomo. It's not just us. Minoru, Saki, Kaito, Mew. All of us are connected by these kinds of bonds. The fact that I've come to think this way is definitely thanks to you, Takuma. What? Me? Yes, no matter what, you've always supported and encouraged us. No, that's... It's kind of embarrassing to hear her talk like that, but I'm glad to. When I think of how Aoi's coming to feel about our bond, I can't help but think it's because she's the one who helped build our relationships. And besides, we were saved by Aoi on countless occasions. So hearing her talk like this, I feel like I need to say something too. Huh. Did I select the wrong one? I think I selected the wrong one. I need a moral, not harmony. Do, do, do. I'm an idiot. Norosaki Ali. The feeling is mutual. I'm as grateful to you as you are to me, so the feeling is mutual, Owie. I'm sure everyone feels the same way. Everyone else? Yeah, you do the things I can't, and we help you with the things that are hard for you. And that way, all of us grew together. I'm sure of it. Me, you, everyone, even Agumon and the others. I think so, too. Yeah, exactly. So everyone supported each other together and grew. I see. That makes sense. Yosh, affinity up. Thanks, Takuma. I knew I could rely on you. Talking with you has cleared a bit of the fog in my head. Now I can go to sing Yuki without any hesitation. Oh yeah, glad to hear it. Yes, I'll head back where everyone else is in a bit. Please wait until then. Yosh. Apparently there's items here. So we're gonna look for items. Never mind. My guy lied to me. I found Kaido. Oh, it's another one of the spirited away stuff. I'm not too worried about that. We might do like an episode, bonus episode or something, um, to read all these, but. Are you an item? No, you're a shadow. We're just gonna run. Ok. 
Okay. Now who do we need to talk to? We have three actions left. Owie is only a 37. I don't think Owie is getting a Mega if it's affinity based. Let's talk to... is it Sock? Mew. We'll talk to Mew. Mew in the gym. Glad you went there. Oh, there's Mew. Things are about to get dicey. We should talk to her first. Yeah, hey, Chocoma. What are you doing in the gym, Mew? I just wanted to take a look. Did you guys really go through such a terrible time in here? You mean the fight we had against Tokugugugagamon? That's it, yes. In that case, yeah, it was bad. My friends got caught in Tokugugagamon's webs. We were in big trouble. But we were saved thanks to Agumon and the others. I see. I had no idea. Mew? I was so sick of Cradle's overprotective years when I came here, you know? I didn't listen to a word you guys said and ran off to the amusement park on my own. Jane went and made her her queen. <laughs> Typical Mew. Hey, don't act like it was my idea. I didn't see you complaining. <laughs> I really regret what I did back then, I swear. It's just I was all flying around and you guys had to deal with this. Thinking about it fills me with shame. Like maybe I'm a bad kid or something. You understand just how dangerous this world is now. She didn't get it at all when we first got here. Maybe things would have been different if she'd been with us from the get-go. Still, that would have exposed her to way more than she's already been through. Besides, I don't think her getting to know all the kids from the park was a bad thing. When I think of that, it's hard to say what would have been the best course of action. I believe uh, it was glad you went there. Thinking back to the park... I'm sure you have mixed feelings about the whole thing. Even so, I think it was a really good experience for you, Mew. You do? But, but I treat everyone like servants. And when my ego ran the show, didn't I? Still, everyone adored you, didn't they? Goes to show how much they wanted to be with you. Patamon and the others just loved you, Mew. Anyone could tell. You, you really think so? Yeah, they're right. This is my Mew we're talking about. How could they not? If they didn't adore you, they wouldn't call you their queen. You mean, I wasn't just a pain to everyone? If you were, Gigi Mon would have expelled you a long time ago. Besides, it's not like you didn't save the kids from the amusement park. You should have more confidence in your hiccup self. Yush! Affinity with Mew. <laughs> Thank you, Chocobo. I'll stop drinking myself in circles. As you should, Mew. Yeah, it's just like you say, Chocobo. I'll do whatever I can and give it all love. God, doing it. And then me having Mewki first. I'll give it my all, too. We'll do it together, right, Chocobo? You got it. Together. Before we do that... What's this? Item? Clean dressing. Nice, we needed that. All right, we did Mew. Who's next? Can't do Owie again. Kaido, Saki. Let's talk to Saki. Saki, 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 Saki. I'm glad we came here. I see Saki over there. What's she doing? If you say so like this, no, you're out of frame. Get closer, or you'll get cut off. How about I take it? I'll help too. They're taking a picture. Oh, thanks, guys, but I got this. The selfie gives more of that day in the life vibe kind of fun, right? Okay, voice, why can't we do Saki tonight? <sighs> I'm having problems with Saki. Day in the life? That's what I said. 
But this is... Oh no, this isn't even the world we know. Our time here has been as far from normal as it can get. Still, this place is normal for Florimon and the others. And we're with them, right? So it's like having Florimon around is the new normal for me. Man, this is hard to explain. Sure, but I think I get what you're trying to say, Zagi. Yeah, this is our day in the life. <laughs> I'm so happy to have Zagi as a partner in my life. Zagi's gotten tougher somehow. I got the impression that she was a bit of a space case when we first got here. But now she's become such a great partner to Aoi. She said her sick body makes her tire easily, but she seems energetic to me. We may be heading back to our world soon, but this one made Saki stronger. I'm glad we came here. There might be a better way to say this, but I'm glad that we came to this world. Talking about where did that come from? It's just, I was just thinking back on our time here. You've gotten so much stronger, Saki. All of us have, I think. You've become the most reliable partner I could ask for, Takuma. Hey, Zaki's no slouch either. She's the best partner ever, you hear me? Even the fact that these guys can't talk about us like this. is all thanks to this world. That's what I think, so I'm happy we came here. Affinity with Saki, oh! Yeah, that's true, isn't it? I was so scared and clueless when we got here, I just dragged everybody down. But now I'm glad we came. I wouldn't trade getting to know a for anything. Saki! Now then, what do you say we snap a few more selfies before we head to the shrine? This might be our last chance. I want to make memories of all we can. Saki. I'll take as many as you want. Yeah, thanks, Florimon. So hey, you know where we'll be until all we all meet up. Right, got it. See you later. Alright, hold up. I forgot to check for items. We need items. Dang it. I don't know what I wanted. We wanna go to Saki. Go to Saki. There's an item. Or a battle. Hmm. Hmm. Not the item I was hoping for. We need more uh, clean dressing or whatever it's called. We're gonna check all of the items. For all the items. I don't. Yosh! We need that. We need that like a lot. And I don't care about talking to these. To cafeteria. Okay, I think uh, we talked with everybody we needed to. 48, 37, 55, 50, 47. Okay, next episode we're going to talk to Kaido and get that affinity up. But for now, we're going to wrap up this video right here right now. So for those on YouTube, bitch, you rumble, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, follow, rumble, do all that fun stuff. I appreciate each and every one of you. With that being said, I've been your host, Ventor. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, noon, night, evening, tomorrow, today, yesterday, future, present, past. You all get the idea. <laughs> Ventor is out.